The Lummi Plains that are back at home for the first time in three weeks, and it's a whiteout. We'll explain that in just a moment as they get ready to take on the Kelly Walsh Trojans alongside head coach Clint Reed. I'm David Settle. Coming off back-to-back -back losses on the road against two pretty good football teams, where are you sitting right here, kind of middle of the season at one and three, you think? You know, uh, it, it's been a test this ride at the beginning. You know, we play some really, really competitive teams, and each and every week, I believe that all the teams in this state are good teams and competitive teams, and you've got to have, you got to, you got to have your stuff together in every way. And it's no different this week. You know, um, K Dub comes in, um, always giving us competition. Um, they're wild games. They've always been wild games the last few years, so we're looking for another wild one this Friday. The whiteout. It's kind of a student-based thing, but I know what it is is. They want fans to wear white shirts to the game, so if you can do that, please do so. Uh, does that kind of get your guys amped up a little bit? Is something a little different at home? Yeah, it really does. You know, Dave, and here we are out videotaping and doing all this right now, and we're watching ash fall around us. So um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not normal snow, so I don't want <laughs> snow. I don't want to white out for that. But hopefully the fans come in white. We're going to be on all white at home. Okay. So if nothing else, we love coming home, playing in front of our fans, creating some kind of climate in the stands, in the community in that sense, and that gets the kids going totally. Good news was, is you have your one win at home, uh, that was a few weeks ago against Campbell County. How have you done in practice this week preparing for Kelly Walsh? You know, it's been a really, really good week of practice it has, you know, and the one thing is, um, as hard as it is to uh, defend an assignment team, you know, an option team, dive option team, it makes practice pretty darn simple. Okay. You know, you just assign certain guys to where they go, and. Uh, Coaches are screaming and yelling when you don't go where you need to go. You know, we've talked about kids all week long. Some of the mistakes we make is that we see guys in a peripheral vision. We see these things we want to go do with this offensive lineman supposed to step right. We see a guy over here we want to go block him. No, put your blinders on. Well, in assignment football, everybody put your blinders on. You're assigned to go somewhere. So defensively, that's all we've worked on. It's been really good this week. The test will be Friday night. Talk a little bit about Kelly Walsh, Cam Burkett's the big running back, number nine. Trent Walker's the quarterback, number 12. It sounds like they've got a potent one-two combo with those guys. It does. You know, you put your athlete right there, a quarterback, and we seem to be facing that all season long so far with really stellar athletes. But they got a big back. Um, I think last year, second half of the season, this young man really stepped it up. Um, good size, you know, height, strength, speed. He's got it all. So, um but we know what they like to do, and it's 12 and 9. You know, quarterback 12, running back 9. We got to tackle low, and we got to fly to the ball. Uh, it seems like almost a matchup of their speed against your size. So, how? And I know you've worked on speed and like your team's speed a little bit better. But how do you kind of combat their speed? Yeah, and again, that just is containment and leverage. You know, okay. you, you play. You got to play assignment football. But you got to have leverage. You know, um, we work on leverage all the time. Um, I know it hasn't always seemed to be working on the field right now, but we always talk about you know getting that leverage. You know, using the sideline as a as a 12th person or 13th person, depending which side you're on. But basically, using your teammates and understanding and trusting that you've got guys rallying to the ball. It is a six o'clock kickoff. Again, it's a whiteout. They're asking fans to wear white to the game Friday night. Laramie and Kelly Walsh Trojans come to town two and two. The Plains are one and three and trying to snap a two-game losing skid. Coach Reed, thank you so much for your time as always. Thank you, David. The Plainsmen and the Trojans, six o'clock kickoff Friday night. Join Aaron Lozano and myself for the broadcast, 5 p.m. on KOWB or available anywhere with the KOWB app.